So Pamela, where are you from in Bridgeport? Uh, I'm from uh, Clear, uh, Clearview Drive. That's okay. on the north side. Uh, I own a, a home there. Okay, and why are you up here today? Jobs. You know, um, I had to retire early. Uh, my spouse was terminally ill. He passed in 2017, so February. Sorry. Thank you. And there's no jobs here. Yeah. I can't find a job, you know. And for me, I kind of question, how can I own a home someplace that I can't work? Yes. You understand? Because I, I, at this point, if, if I can't find employment where I live, then I have to uproot myself, sell my home, and move somewhere else. That doesn't make sense to me. This is the biggest city in the state. And I moved from New York because I wanted a kind of calmer living. You know, I wanted a home, you know, which right. is really hard to do in the city of New York, the expense, you yeah. know. But the fact that I can't find a job here has amazed me, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, I know that a lot of people from New York has, have moved to Bridgeport mm -hmm. for the same exact reasons. And this bill before the Public Safety Committee, uh, if passed, uh, would create 4,000 jobs, steady jobs, and that's not, uh, including the construction jobs, the thousands of jobs that w would be provided in, in construction. Absolutely. So thank you for coming up here to the Capitol to raise your voice in support of Bridgeport. You're very welcome, and thank you so much for everything that you're doing for thank us you. in Bridgeport. Appreciate it.